Hi, I'm Kaylin from FPOS New Zealand. I'll be taking you through setting up your new Verifone Android T650P FPOS terminal. You're just a few simple steps away from taking your first payment. I'll show you how to set up the charging base and connect to the internet. We will also cover what you need to do to set up your refund passcode and how to change the paper roll. Here's what your device comes with. Your new T650P FPOS terminal. The T650P charging base. A power supply for the base. If you are connecting your terminal to your internet router, a ethernet cable will be provided. An extra paper roll. And a quick start guide. First, let's set up the charging base. If your terminal is set up to connect via Wi-Fi or a SIM, you will be provided with a charging only base. Plug the power supply provided into the charging port on the underside of the T650 base and then plug the power supply into a wall socket. Ensure the terminal sits correctly on the base and the charging icon is visible. Plug the power cable provided into the port on the left side of the base and then plug the power supply into the power point. Place your terminal on the base. It will power on. You can also power your terminal off and on by using the power button on the side of the terminal. If your terminal has an active SIM card, it will connect to the payment network automatically. Give your terminal a couple of minutes to start up and you're good to go. You can start taking payments straight away. To connect your terminal to Wi-Fi, Swipe down from the notification bar at the top of the screen and tap and hold the Wi-Fi icon. Select your network from the available networks list. Enter your Wi-Fi password and tap connect. Press the home button to navigate back to the payment screen. To connect your terminal directly to your internet router, use the ethernet cable provided. Plug one end into the ethernet port marked with this symbol on your base. Plug the other end of the ethernet cable into a free LAN port on your router. If your terminal is set up for Ethernet connection, it will connect to the charging base via Bluetooth. Once the base is connected to the router, the terminal does not have to be on the base to take payment. For your security, the refund functionality on your terminal is protected by passcodes. We recommend you set your passcodes up when you first get your terminal, so you're ready to process a refund when you need to. To set up your passcodes, call our technical help desk on 0800 338 767 and they will guide you through setting up a six-digit manager passcode and a four-digit cashier passcode. Please note, you must be a listed authority on your FPOS New Zealand account to set up passcodes. Your new terminal will arrive with a paper roll already loaded. When it's time to change the paper roll, here's how to do it. Open the paper roll cover here. There are small slots on either side to make it easier if required. Remove the used paper roll. Insert the new roll so the paper feeds out from the top, leaving a length of paper sticking out of the terminal. Close the printer door, pressing down gently until it clicks shut. You can order more paper rolls on our website. You're all set. You can start taking payments with your new terminal. If you'd like more information about how to use your new terminal, see the full user guide on our website. If you need help, call 0800 FPOS and select option 2 to talk to our technical help desk.